Hi, this is Dr. Greg Hickman again for the um, Block Jocks Block of the Day. Uh, today we have a 25-year-old um, NFL veteran, five-year veteran, wide receiver, he's 6'4", uh, 200 pounds, and uh, very, very uh, proficient uh, wide receiver. He had his right shoulder operated on about six months ago, or six weeks ago, and uh, did very well with his uh, continuous catheter and uh, uh, bupivacaine infusion for his post-op analgesia. We're going to do the same thing for his left shoulder today. He's having a labral repair and possible rotator cuff debridement. And uh, he, uh, he's pretty excited to have his pump. Uh, last time we did his initial block and told him to turn his pump on when he went to bed. He went to prolong his duration of his pump, so he waited until he started feeling pain. And he said he wasn't going to do that this time. He's going to go ahead and turn it on when he goes to bed so that that block doesn't wear off before his pump is working because he learned the hard way that if you let that wear off, it starts getting pretty painful before the, before the pump will kick back in. So we're proceeding here and uh, we've already had uh, our, um, our nurse, we've identified the, um, the place where we're going to put our probe. We've, we're in our lateral position here. We're going to do a posterior approach. I'm going to prep here. Let's go over the back. Prep posteriorly here. You can see the blue marker where we're going to place our um, ultrasound probe. We're going to come in plane with a posterior approach here. This is very similar to the um, um, Beaux Arts uh, cervical paravertebral approach uh, coming in posteriorly between the, the, the latissimus and the levator scapulae. We're going to put our sterile drape on. Now we've got plenty of room back here posteriorly to work. We've got a significant amount of hair here to work around, but uh, we can do it. We did it last time. And we haven't pulled the arm down to pull the shoulder down out of our way to give us more room to work with. We're going to use the uh, contaplex tui needle, so we will stimulate to get a twitch, usually up in the uh, deltoid area or the pec. Always flush out your uh, your line because you don't want to inject air through that line and get that uh, bright white splash in your ultrasound image. And you see our nurse comes in with our ultrasound probe. Big old burn there. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're going to put our arrow and show you a little anatomy. You can see the uh, large, round anterior scalene muscle to the left. And then to the right side of the plexus is going to be the middle scalene muscle. We're going to bring our needle from a posterior approach. We're going to go right through the middle of that middle scalene muscle right there till we get right to the plexus. We want to just pierce the fascia, the middle scalene muscle, stop and deposit our initial block just between our initial local anesthetic between the, uh, the nerves of the plexus there and the middle scalene muscle. We'll actually open that area up uh, and make us a little an area, a little gut, gutter alley, air, galley area with the local. We'll sort of part the Red Sea there. So we'll start our approach posteriorly. Here comes our needle right through the middle of the middle scalene muscle. See the needle? There you go. And then we want to see it that well so we can see the fascia of the muscle. We're going to come up to the nerves. We want to pierce the muscle right there. I just sort of felt a little pop. You can see the twitch over here in the arm, in the, in the, in the shoulder here, and down the arm it's twitching. Now we're going to inject 5 cc's here. We're going to aspirate and give a 5 cc injection. Lots of pressure. A lot of pressure here. See, so it's kind of opening up that area. Another five cc's right there. You can see we're opening up the space between the middle scalene muscle and the plexus and give us our last five right there. Perfect. Now what that's done is open us, opening up our space where we'll have time, room to put our catheter in and it'll end up in that same space between, between the plexus sheath 
and the middle scalene muscle. Your right shoulder okay? You hurting? Yeah, okay. Alright partner, roll back up there. That hair right there. One, two, three. Yeah. A little air in there. Put a little air, check our location. One, two, three. Perfect. Just posterior to the plexus between the nerves and the uh, middle scalene muscle. Do a little tunneling action. Okay, big old sting. Sorry, got a boy. So we're bending our needle so we can do our tunneling. Go out about three centimeters distal, three to four centimeters. Just go sub Q, tunnel the needle, bring it back out. And when you get my age, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. Dr. Winchester's younger can see better, but trying to get this catheter in that TUI needle sometimes is kind of tough. We got it in pretty easily on this one though. And we'll slide it right through here. And slide our needle back. Now we've tunneled our catheter so that it's actually coming out over here closer to the C-spine out of the surgical field's way. So now we'll put a little massasol on here and prep this up for our final dressing of a couple of tegaderms. Pull our drape off, gives us room to put a little pigtail again these patients are going home I like to tunnel secure these things really well and then make this little little pigtail curl and I had a patient this morning called want to know thought they maybe had pulled their catheter out I asked them if they could still see the curl underneath the uh, clear dressing and they said they could and so I told them that the catheter was still in and still working well also, in today's modern age, they actually sent me a nice text picture so I could double check it. There was a little blood from the initial insertion site they were concerned about, and I looked at that on their picture, and again, uh, was able just by text messaging reaffirm um, that everything was fine and, and they were going to be okay, and the catheter was still working well and to keep, fun to keep going with it as it was very important in my mind to make sure this catheter is working well and I'll go to whatever extremes it takes to make sure that catheter is in the location I want it to be and I can check it and actually see it's where I want it to be. Uh, these guys are going home, they have my cell phone number, so if they're going to have problems I want them calling me, but I want to do take all extremes to prevent those problems um, and uh, have a successful surgery and post-operative period with as minimal pain as possible and try and avoid narcotics. Thank you.